Okay, so today we're going to go to Louth, uh, which is uh, on the Darling River flowing south down towards uh, Menindi, Broken Hill. So from here the road goes to, if you take the Louth Road, it goes down to Louth, and then Tilpa, and then Wilcannia. And it's a fantastic ride. It's, it's lots and lots of bulldust and deep patches of, uh, of sand. But if you know what you're doing and you don't have a 17 inch front wheel on your CB500X, you should be okay. <laughs> uh, big shout out to my new friend uh, Anthony on his, um, well, I don't know what bike you're getting now, Anthony, because uh, the CB500X has been written off officially. I just wish Honda would stick that engine, that CB500X engine, into something like the CRF450 frame with the long travel suspension, 21 inch front wheel, and um, you know, the, the good ground clearance. They'd kill it. They would kill the market if they did that. That's exactly what the market is looking for. Good long range Tura with good, good fuel range, 400 odd kilometres, and um, you know, to good parallel twins, small capacity, nice and light. That'll do the job. All right, we're going to turn right here, but I just saw a truck turn down that way, and he's going to hopefully uh, turn off because I'm not going to be following him through the dirt, so I'm going to go and get in front of him. So uh, buckle up, folks. Laos, it's all open. It's all open. All right, I'll come back when I get past this guy. Gotta put that camera on. <laughs> New camera angle here, so let's see what that looks like. So the plan for today is we're going to run down to uh, the marker, uh, Stuart's, Stuart's marker, and also um, uh, Thomas Mitchell, Major Mitchell. So he came out here. Now we're not going to talk too much about him because he did some explorations a little bit further north, and we're not going that way. So yeah, I just I just think. I think, you know, I've always had an interest, not an interest so much in history, but, you know, if I'm going somewhere, I want to understand a little bit about it. And I remember the first time I went to Tiverborough and um, saw the boat up on the, uh, up on the stands there in the Memorial Park. I kind of went, you know, these guys were seriously nuts bringing a boat out here. But... You know, I've got a lot more respect for them now that I've done a bit of research. I've got a lot more respect for the fellas uh, that, you know, they came out here. They came out here because they didn't know. So if they'd have come out without a boat, that would have been a bit silly too. So I've got a bit more respect when you have some... When you put yourself in their shoes and you look at things through the eyes of an early explorer, um, it was it, just an amazing experience for them. The, the surface is the colour it's really hard to pick up um, like the contour of the land because of the, it, it's just so consistent it's very strange I read that time last year, it's almost almost to the week, uh, we were coming back from Lake Eyre, and on the way back, I basically finished the trip at uh, Broken Hill, because to be honest, the run back was pretty much, you know, and, and I was probably a little bit over making videos as well, <laughs> to be honest, um, but we got to the point where Chris... Uh, on the KDM had bought uh, a, a Falcon Ute, an old XF Ute, like a thousand dollars. Stuck his KDM in the back of that and then drove back to Brisbane. And 
So Neil, Chris and I left Broken Hill, went to Menindee, and came from Menindee up to Will Kenya, and the road was so bad, Neil went, no, I've had enough of that. So he rode into Cobar on the Benjamin, then from Cobar up to Burke. Chris, ADD rider bloke, and myself, we came up from Menindee to Will Kenya, got some fuel, went from Will Kenya to Tilpa, uh, spent the night at Tilpa in the Tilpa Hotel, um, but we didn't get fuel because um, they weren't open uh, when we left. We thought, oh, we'll get fuel at Louth, thinking that they opened at 9, but they didn't open till 10. <laughs> so we spent about an hour waiting around at Louth. Uh, but it was the weekend of the Louth races, which are um, supposed to be on this coming weekend, the second weekend in August. So they're supposed to be... Uh, uh, supposed to be on but they've obviously been cancelled because of the, the COVID. So anyway, Chris and I left Louth and we're heading into Burke and we were, we were going down the road and we could see this big ball of dust ahead of us because there was a heap of people and trucks and stuff delivering, um, you know, equipment out to Louth for the races and <laughs> and there's just like see this car coming now that it is vehicles and it was dusty and there's big big trails of dust and uh, but it wasn't just four-wheel drive there was there were trucks delivering stuff it was anyway we're, we're heading we're heading back that way and we can see this big pool of dust coming towards us we thought, oh no here comes another truck and as we got closer and closer and closer we can see one headlight waiting to see the other one <laughs> And it was Neil on Charlie, <laughs> and he'd come from Burke, and he was meeting us on this road here. Um, and then he rode back with us to Burke, and we all rode home together. But um, that was really funny, because we're going, look at the size of this thing. And it turned out to be <laughs> the big BMW. We thought it was funny. Anyway, it was, a, it was a nice surprise to see him on the road. And um, anyway, that was, that was almost exactly to the week this time last year. Um, when we were on our way back from the Lake Air trip, so it was very serendipitous, is the word I'm going to use. Driving metropolis of Louth. The pub is shut. Darling River. Let's go down to it. Well, down to the river. Kind of around this section, around Louth here, where uh, Hamilton Hume came across the river again, and they and they Hamilton Hume and and Charles Sturt, and they deducted this was the Darling River based on you know the line of the, that it follows south from where they uh, reached it up near um, up near Burke.
Um, and so it was here that they kind of decided that they'd had enough. Uh, they were running low on water. The water that they pulled out of here was so salty that it was undrinkable. And so they... Uh, um, you know, the, even all the filtration and stills and stuff uh, that they tried to use um, just didn't clear the salt out of the water. So they ended their second expedition. So they came out from Sydney out to Mount Harris near Ningen. They went up to Burke, bumped into the Darling River up there, and then they went back, resupplied, came back out west this way bumped into the Darling River here again and then ended up going back. It took them about three months. And it was after that, 12 months after that, that Charles Sturt went and did the uh, the, the road, row, row your boat down the Murray River and, and uh, ended up at what is uh, now known as Murray Bridge. But we'll talk about that when we get further down. So this was the second expedition I finished around here. And, uh, and this was really the last time uh, that we hear from Hamilton Hume. Uh, while um, Charles Sturt asked him to go on the trip down the Murray, uh, it was harvest season for Hamilton on his property and he couldn't go. So this is kind of the, the last we'll hear of Hamilton Hume here at Louth. And uh, he was still a relatively young man. Uh, and he went on to be a magistrate in the Yass region and he died and uh, is buried in the Yass Cemetery, uh, as we've seen previously. So that's the end of Hamilton Hume. And uh, we're going to pick up now the trail of Charles Sturt uh, on the next expedition as we go further south. So we're going to now follow the Darling River up the other side. There's no fuel, at, there is normally fuel at Louth. But it's shut today, or shut until this whole COVID thing is finished. So, um, a little disappointing. So, I can't go any further, but I can go back up to uh, Burke on the western side, and I'm going to do that, and I should be able to do it without. Uh, it'll be close, but uh, I should be right. Time, couple women by my side. I got sinning on my mind, sipping on red wine. I've been sitting there for ages, ripping out the pages. How'd I get so faded? How'd I get so faded? Oh no, no, don't leave me lonely now. If you loved me, how you never learn? Wanna took a free my mind This is how it ends 